Hey VC, yes, let's do another contest. Why not, right? There's a lot of them and I want to get involved and I want to support these other channels. This is for UFO Bigfoot, Shane's channel. Go over and check him out. He's got like under 90 subscribers, so let's all subscribe. I will have a link below to the contest. His channel's called UFO Bigfoot. The contest is called Bigfoot and Bootlegs. And so, uh, a couple things. He wants to see some kind of a paranormal uh, story that, you know, preferably one that happened to you or something along that line. And then basically some bootleg vinyl releases that you have. And so just two or three that you have there. So now a couple of things. First off, um, his channel, UFO Bigfoot, it's a Bigfoot and bootlegs. Now I can't say that I've ever seen Bigfoot, but I will say this. My wife and I have watched a lot we are very interested in the bigfoot phenomenon now we're here in virginia there have been a lot of sightings in virginia you know over the years different parts of virginia we live not too far from the dismal swamp can't say there's been a lot there but that's the kind of places that you would you know hear of these type of things but um i will say we saw bigfoot in this <laughs> this is my bigfoot Geo coin from Wood Woodburger Geo Trail 2019. I was about to say what that date looks weird. So my wife and I do geocaching and we went over to Woodburger. Woodburger is another name for Bigfoot, is what they call it there. Into the far area over in Virginia, real close to the border. You go up on the mountain, you can see Tennessee and Kentucky and Virginia. It's like a place you can see all the states join up there. So we were right on the border there and lots of sightings in that area and so they have this whole geocaching trail and then you get this if you if you get enough of them you get this free it's it's like a heavy duty pewter you know trackable and so if you're into geocaching you understand what that is but it's more of a souvenir there's no way i would let this go into the wild because it would disappear um so you know we did we this is my shirt i've worn this before some people have caught onto it this is my wife's and it's kind of messed up it's kind of got to stay in there but you know, we bought the commemorative shirt. Now, we know a lot of the, you know, we watch a lot of shows, know a lot of the stuff that goes on and, 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 and Bigfoot. And one thing that you know about, and again, I can't say I've seen this or this is 100% true, but we were walking to the Devil's Bathtub, which is another, uh, uh, on, it's, a, it's a place on top of a mountain where there's this like little water hole. And people go up there and they jump into it. It's not very big, but it's kind of a sight. People see it. You got to do this hike that takes you like an hour or so way up the mountain. And we went up there and we all jumped in and we had fun and we spent some time up there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it gets colder. <laughs> Oh my, oh my! <laughs> One, two, three, go! I am. <laughs> oh my gosh, he hit the bottom. Oh crap. <laughs> but on the way up there, there's nobody up there. You're in a remote area and there's a path and people are on the path. But it's not like there's multiple paths. It's not like there's people hanging out all over. And so we're walking and rock goes whizzing by us and you could tell it came from somewhere high above there's like little cliffs and areas up there there's no people up there and it happened on the way up to the devil's bathtub and on the way back somebody threw something it felt like it seemed like they threw something at us from around that area so people who know a lot about bigfoots who watch the shows or whatever that you know that they do that they throw things to distract get you you know to go away don't know if that's what that was we all thought it was funny we thought it was interesting we 
kind of took it serious. We don't want to get hit in the head by some big stick or something. Now, another semi-paranormal situation. The hotel we were staying at there in the town of Wise, Virginia, is known to be supposedly haunted. Lots of people have been there. They've done all kinds of different studies, blah, 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 blah. We were staying there, so we were interested. There's a, there's a graveyard there that supposedly is haunted. You know, I don't know exactly 100% where I stand on all of the stuff. I just know it's interesting to watch some of the supposed things that people go through. So my daughter and I went up. They said basically it was on the third floor. And so we went up to, we went down and talked to the guy at the front desk. He gave us some ideas. You know, he says, well, you know, I've been here for a long time and hadn't really seen anything, but there have been people who work here that have seen things, have experienced things. And he just kind of gave us a rundown and told us where else in town is supposedly hot spots that people have supposedly experienced things, uh, uh, an abandoned orphanage, things like that. We didn't want to go out to the graveyard. It would have been late at night. We were tired after all day of hiking and everything. But, you know, while we really wanted to go, we didn't, I, I didn't want to go out that time of night. It was dark. But, um, so my daughter and I went up to the third floor and we're experienced, you know, kind of walking around acting like we were ghost hunters. And so, you know, we didn't experience anything, but there is this one situation, which I will show here in a video clip where we were looking down the stairwell and the lights were off and or on and I made, uh, made a comment and the light, you know, came on. So who knows, who knows, who knows. You'll see, see what you think. If you're here, can you speak to us? Use the sound waves of the camera to communicate. Why did light get so much brighter when I said communicate with us? Can you make another light come on? Mm -hmm. There's one down there at the bottom of the stairs below you and the one right behind your back. What do you mean Santa Claus is coming? Oh my gosh. That's creepy. It's just, it's just storage. Okay, and beyond that, be, beyond that, as far as my own personal experience, I have for years seen shadows. And people say, you know, hey, it's just things in your eyes it's your imagination um my daughter has also my youngest daughter says she's seen them too it's like you see them move out of the corner of your eye going down the hallway or in the doorway or something and when you look they're gone and there's all kinds of phenomena my wife used to think we were crazy there's no such things blah 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 but then you come to find out when you hear about more and more people who experience they're called shadow creatures and people see them all the time and experience it all the time so now my wife is like okay fine she hears about them now she never used to hear about them but you hear about them all the time and people experience them and some people have caught some stuff on video and blah 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 so i'm not huge into the paranormal stuff we do watch some of the videos uh nukes top five on youtube nukes top five top five ghosts caught on camera it's a lot of the same stuff but it's interesting to see some of the things that people show that's my experience though with some paranormal uh you know, I can't say that I've seen a ghost or seen anything like Shane had. But anyway, on to the rest of it. Now, we're going to show some bootlegs. So I have in recent, just real recent videos shown how I bought some of the unofficial releases from Van Halen and things along that line. But I'm going to go back 
at least more than a year to a video because most people don't remember there where I ordered some stuff and and Beth over at Red Rum showed some some of these uh, type of records uh, in her video response to this but Coda Records out of I guess England they were overseas they released a lot of cool stuff and I bought some because they had a sale it was like buy two get one free and I love the novelty of 10 inches and they've taken they would have like uh, a 12 inch live bootleg album with like eight songs and they'd release that but then later they started getting into the 10 inches and they would release two 10 inch albums that had you know two or three more songs from that show and so i was buying some of those but i've only bought this one order from them because it's not ex cheap and i'm waiting for them to do another buy two get one free they always just do it like a 25 percent off thing but acdc the bonds got years long way to the top again these are uh bootleg sh shows songs and they, not only are they a, a, a gatefold you know 10 inch gatefold but i can't seem to find 10 inch bags to fit over these things but they're beautiful splatter vinyl colors and stuff and you know they th this is a radio broadcast from 74 to 79 and they sound good i mean these are these are good good sounding bootlegs rush to 2112 concert again this was released uh and you can find it i think on amazon the same label released it like on purple uh as a 12 inch and then they put it out as a two 10 inches with extra songs just i just love the colors and i love the novelty of you know and it's double i love the novelty of having the 10 inches it's a gatefold and it sounds great it's just it's it's an amazingly great concert it is a february 13th 1980 they you know played a played the show great it's just a great sounding stuff and then the Beatles, the Red Album years. And these, of course, are red and with a little bit of white splatter to them. Again, two 10-inch gatefold. Beautiful stuff, and it's all kinds of different years. 64, stuff from, from uh, you know, different studio tracks from the time frame. And anyway, you can look it up. Coda Records, great stuff. So I'm going to show those three. I do want to get some more Coda Records. They've got a lot of new ones they've put out that are really good, 10 inches and stuff. But again, with shipping and everything, it's not the cheapest thing. <laughs> so, But that's all for now, Shane. Hopefully this is enough to get me into the contest. And uh, anyway, go support his channel. Link below. Thanks for watching. Rock on and rock hard. Okay. Yeah. Boogie, boogie. Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Just tripping. It's a penny. Oh. Well, that's... Oh. Uh -huh.